Emotions have not subsided at all over last week's racist threats targeting Arborview High School students. Well, tonight, CCSD school board members, they got an earful, and 13 Action News reporter Aaron Drawhorn right now is back from that meeting, and Aaron, things certainly got pretty heated there. Heated indeed, also heartfelt, Todd and Trisha. The NAACP sending out a call for action to sound off at tonight's board meeting. The school district feeling the fallout and also focusing on the future after Arborview High is hit by hate. The criminal content on Instagram targeted and threatened black students at Arborview High School. We were all stunned. With racist language, and that's not all. One of the terrorists said, I want to commit Columbine Part 2. For Akiko Cooks, the posts are personal. One of my son was one of 10 boys targeted, yes. I noticed you use the term terrorist. They are terrorists. Those were terrorist threats. Two Arborview teens were arrested, charged with making terroristic threats and cyberbullying with hate crime enhancements. A third cited. The superintendent praised local police and the feds' rapid response. And as a superintendent and as a father, I will not allow any of our students to be threatened. Because I do not support any of that behavior. It is the most heinous thing. I could think a child could go through. If my kid was in that situation, I would be scared out of my life. Where were you? I you haven't heard have from anyone. No one has contacted us. Cooks has a slew of questions, beginning with who knew what and when. Why were children in school on Tuesday morning? They knew about it Monday night. For now, CCSD's conversation looks at safety. To add metal detectors to the schools. Training. I think they need to have training with every parent that's in every school. And the problem of prejudice in 2019. This feels like 1950, 1960. Aaron Drawhorn, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas.